Selling soft drinks on a hot, dusty road near the port of Manila may not seem the ideal job to some, but for proprietor Imelda Ignacio, her small business is a breath of fresh air. From instant coffee to shampoo, she even cooks hamburgers here, a bargain at around 50 cents each. Imelda set up this small shop three years ago after returning from Romania as a migrant worker. Her time spent there is an experience she'd rather forget. Working as a seamstress, she and a group of other women were promised a salary of 350 euros per month by the Filipino recruiter. The factory owners refused to pay the full amount, offering little more than half that. Sa Romania po, uh, wala naman po kaming naging malaking pera kasi... In Romania, we didn't get much, mainly because the employer did not follow the contract. Employer namin doon, kaya... So we decided to go home to the Philippines. Now I run my own business and it's doing well. In another part of Manila, another returnee, Myra Hiron, tells a similar story. The salary that we were supposed to get in Romania wasn't actually paid to us. We were paid less, and it wasn't enough to cover all our living expenses, so we decided to go home. Eventually, with the help of officials from the government of the Philippines, we were able to return home. Unfortunately, the stories of Myra and Imelda are not that uncommon. While the Philippines is well known for its hard-working and most often successful overseas migrant labor force, each year, thousands return home, frustrated and disappointed by a negative experience working abroad. The International Labour Organization, supported by the European Commission, is working with the government of the Philippines to help these returning migrants regain decent work after they return home. We focus on those workers that have uh, problems when they were working overseas, and we brought them back uh, to the country and while here, uh, we put up alternative uh, activities uh, with the help of the ILO for them to be able to uh, be in the mainstream and start again uh, and be a productive uh, uh, part of the society. Altogether, 48 of the women that returned from Romania have formed a co-op. With the support of the ILO and the government's Overseas Workers' Welfare Administration, the women are now supporting each other as they regain their livelihoods. We decided among ourselves to create a cooperative so we could help each other and help meet our own needs. This would also help us prepare for our needs in the future. Our goal was to work together and help each other. Now working as a quality controller and speaking from experience, co-op member Susan says she's content to be working back home. The work is steady and satisfactory. And the local brands she's helping to produce are now on sale in major department stores across the city. The government has remarked positively on the outcome of this project, impressed by the positive results. It's a success story which we are trying also to, do, to look at and become as uh, and uh, view it as uh, a case of a possible approach to a sustainable return program for similarly situated women uh, like them. As for Myra, business is already booming and she's hired an additional eight workers. Since coming home, many things have changed. Here we can start our own businesses and not have the pressure of working for someone else. We are earning money for ourselves and it's much better for us. Imelda's business is also growing. She's hired two helpers and has regained her confidence and outlook. For those like me who've been abroad and had bad experiences, I can say, don't be afraid to come back here and start again. There are opportunities to start your own small, viable business. 
There are those that can help too, like ILO and OWA. Things may be slow at first, but you'll be surprised that in due time your business will pick up. For millions of people, the option to migrate can lead to a positive and profitable experience. But it's just one option in a world of work with many possibilities.